Hey there, I'm Max with our developer relations team here at Zoom. And in this video, I'd like to show you how you can quickly get set up with our basic reference Zoom app. To follow along with this guide, make sure that you have four things. First, download the source code from our GitHub repo and make sure you've opened it in your IDE. Next, install ngrok as well as Node.js and NPM. And finally, make sure that you have an app configured within our Zoom marketplace. If you're not sure how to do this, we have another video showing you just how you can create this app right here. If you have all those things, then you're ready to continue. And let's go ahead and open up our IDE. So the first thing we'll do here is start an ngrok tunnel and this on uh, port 3000. And this will allow us to have an HTTPS URL to use for our Zoom app. We'll navigate back here and we'll set the home URL as that index page right there. Then we'll move on to the redirect URL for OAuth and we'll use the same ngrok domain, but we'll want to append the slash auth route to it. Make sure there's no spaces ahead or after. Perfect. And then we'll want to tell Zoom that we really do want to use this for our OAuth redirect URL by adding it to the allow list. Finally, let's add the base domain for our ngrok URL into this domain allow list. And that's everything we need to do for the app credentials page. Head on over to the features tab now. And because this is a basic reference app, we don't have too many features to add, but click add APIs under the Zoom app SDK section. We're looking for the share app permission and it's right there. Perfect. We'll make sure that's selected and we're ready to continue. Let's head back to our IDE and open up a new terminal window. Here, we're going to install our NPM dependencies. And because I've already installed them, it went pretty quickly. We can see right here that it sets up Husky for pre-commit checks and also generates the session secret for us. Along with that, if we look at our files, we now have a .env file that's been created where you can see there's a field for our client ID, client secret, and redirect URL. So let's go ahead and grab those from our Zoom app in the marketplace and fill out this .env file. If we go back to the app credentials page, we can copy the client ID and we can paste it within the ZM client ID field. And we'll do the same thing with our client secret. as well as our redirect URL. Great, so that should be just about all the setup we need to get started with this app. Now we can use npm run dev in our terminal window to start up a development server. You'll see that it gives us a, a local host domain, which is where our server is running, but we'll actually want to use the HTTPS URL from our ngrok server. We'll go ahead and copy that. And we'll paste this right into our browser so that we can see our Zoom app running in the browser. Because we're using ngrok, we get this warning, um, but we can just go ahead and click visit this unsafe site right here to get around that. Awesome, now we have our Zoom app running in our browser, but really what we want is to get it running in Zoom. So we'll click install and it will install the app for us and now, if we look in our Zoom client, we can see our Zoom app is running directly in our meeting. And we're able to resize it and even pop it out into its own window and extend this app as we need and as we learn to become Zoom app developers. Well, that's everything I have for this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you in the future. Happy coding.